Hey there, I'm going to do a quick unboxing today of some new Dior beauty items I received. It was a very frivolous and indulgent purchase, so if you're interested to see what I picked up, stick around. Welcome back to my channel. My channel is about treating yourself to a little bit of luxury, whether that be your cup of coffee, your favorite fragrance, skincare, designer handbags, luxury, nail polish, and the like. If you're interested in that kind of thing, please consider subscribing and comment down below all of those lovely YouTube -y things they ask you to do. I'd really appreciate it. So today I made a frivolous order from Dior. Um, I am trying to stay platinum through this year because I want to get the holiday gift. I'm hoping it's a fancy, lovely present this year. I just had to make another couple purchases to stay at that level. So wanted to get a couple of things done. Plus they had a really cute little freebie. So got that. And then they had a little um, deluxe sample of an item that I was hoping to try out. So I ordered a really small order. We're going to unbox it real quick. Um, also, they have changed their rewards program. So the you used to be able to like play for stars on their on their website. So you used to do like these quizzes and get these stars, and then you would do um, entries at the end of the month to win prizes. And I've won a couple over the years, but um, they did away with it about a month ago, and they haven't really. From what I can, I can't really figure out what they've changed other than you just don't do the entries anymore. So you still have to spend a certain amount to get, you know, the giveaways, the gifts every, um, at every tier, but it seems that the prizes aren't there anymore. So I'm just kind of figuring, trying to figure out what exactly has changed other than that. So anywho, um, this is just a really quick little order of taking the ribbon off of it just to make things easier. So um, unbox that in the lovely little tissue. Let's get, I'm going to pull everything out. That way it's a little bit faster. Yeah. All right. So let's start off with um, the freebies. So the whole reason I placed this order was because I saw this gift right here. And it's a little mirror in this lovely Dior Canage pouch. It comes with a little sticker. I'm assuming you said to put it on your phone or something. I don't know why I want to stick it to my phone though. I think I just want to keep it on my purse or in my purse. So interesting. So yeah, little little mirror, little pouch. So that must be like a card holder if you stuck it on your phone. Oh, that would be actually even better. It has Dior Etch there at the bottom, but yeah, you could totally use that as a card holder. Hmm, doubling up. So yeah, with a hundred dollar purchase, basically that was the freebie. So little mirror. And then I got a couple of fragrance samples. I got Miss Dior and J'adore L'Or spray samples. And then the one I really wanted is this one. So they have re imagined a few of the scents. Um, this is the Greedy Dior and they're calling them Esprit, which seems interesting. And they're just like more intense versions of a few of the fragrances. And I'll insert which ones um, have all been redone. I think it's Rouge, Trafalgar, Gris Dior, um, the green one, and I'm blanking on on that one. I think there's four total that have been. So I have the original Greedy Ore and it just kind of meh. So I was kind of hoping to try this and see if maybe it gave me a little bit more excitement, a little more oomph to it. So i um, excited to have that to, to try out. So I'll compare those two at some point, maybe in my fragrance of the week um, tray that I do. So those are the freebies. So what I picked up, decided to pick up, was um, the star filter, and that was slightly open there. This is kind of like an under makeup primer, 
and this is in the one so it's kind of like highlighter slash primer glow all in one and I didn't really care for their new foundation so I thought it seemed very matte and very just unexciting. I thought if I put this underneath because it is of the same line that maybe um, it just gave it a little bit of, of oomph. So uh, it comes in several colors but this one seemed to be the nicest one. Um, it says supplementing fluid, spectacular glow, long wear, and 24-hour hydration. So hydrating formula. And then next I ended up getting um, one of the new holiday items. So they have um, a, a new version of the highlighting quad from Backstage. And this is, let's do this right here, this version. And I have the original and one of my favorite palettes. I think I use it probably every time I wear makeup. And this one has this lavender shade in it that just looks really fun. So I am really excited to try that out. I'm trying to remember, it's white, bronze, like a gold, and then a pink in that one. So this one has the pink. It has a lighter version of this one and then the white. So it's just a, a different shade of pink, a more dark, a dark pink on this one and then the purple. So just a few variations. I think the white's very similar though. So that one to try out and I'm really excited to to see how that is for holiday that just seems really fun really fun glow and they have several several new items coming out um, and some really nice packaging and everything so this is just kind of like a sneak peek um, item that came out for um, for this time so those are my items I picked up. Like I said, I have um, to dive in and figure out what all's changed about the program specifically. I think at this stage, because I'm already platinum, I can't see it affecting me too much. I think it mostly affects those who are just starting out in the program. So once you are platinum and maintain platinum, I think you pretty much stay status quo, but getting up to the levels is I think what, where the change really happens. But I'm gonna dig into it and if I um, find something out, I'll insert it into the, the video, like cards or what have you um, on there. Um, otherwise, when I go to Chicago, I'm hoping to ask them at one of the stores there. The boutique at um, the Chicago store that I went to, it didn't have as much beauty as um, I had hoped. They have some fragrance, but they don't have as much of the beauty. It's more of a, a fashion store. So most of the um, beauty I picked up at Nordstrom when I was there. So we'll see if they can give me any insight or if it's really something they kind of like keep separate from their, um, their, uh, their fashion stores. Um, Chanel's not quite like that there. Chanel has quite a big beauty section there at that store. So i um, hoping that I can get some items there as well when I go to Chicago. So really excited to take that trip and do some shopping and do all the things. So anyway, that's my video for this week and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.